no deal Brexit would have worse long-term effects on the economy than the coronavirus pandemic, according to one expert. No deal Brexit seems an increasingly likely situation as the European Union EU, and UK attempt to straighten out issues regarding business competition and fishing rights. As talks prove unsuccessful and the deadline on December 31 grows ever nearer, fears of a no deal Brexit outcome are slowly turning into reality. Prime Minister Boris Johnson and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said in a joint statement they have asked their chief negotiators, Michel Barnier and David Frost, to prepare an overview of the remaining differences in the talks to be discussed in person in the coming days. And according to Professor of International Relations at London Metropolitan University, Andrew Moran, no deal Brexit will have disastrous consequences for the economy. Professor Moran told Express, as Brexit negotiations enter the 11th hour, the risk of no deal is a stark possibility as both sides seek to leverage the final moments in their favor. If the economic dislocation is as bad as the government's own analysis suggests, one of the outcomes of no deal, ironically, could be a deal within months of Britain crashing out of the EU, as both sides deal with the consequences and seek to regain some degree of economic control and to limit the damage a no deal might create. The Office for Budgetary Responsibility, the government's official forecasters, have predicted that a no deal will knock two percentage points off GDP growth in 2021, while the governor of the Bank of England predicted it would have worse longer-term effects on the economy than the pandemic. Undoubtedly, a no deal outcome wouldn't be good news for either the EU or UK. In addition to the damage to the domestic economy, being forced to switch to World Trade Organization, WTO, rules will result in the imposition of tariffs on a wide range of imports and exports. Quotas on limited products would also likely be introduced if a deal isn't struck by the end of the month. Professor Moran explained, as the government has admitted, this could well mean higher food prices. Almost 30% of food consumed in the UK comes from the EU, and our supermarkets import over 70% of our food from the continent. 